Matt, we got a moonstone. It's not really from the moon. What? Hey, there was a moon door. Remember that stupid thing you made me look at while I was taking hits? Yes. I guess but, you should bring it there. But what? Where's that moon door? I believe that's like the... F uh, the f not this floor, but the floor below us? It's the top floor, if I remember right. So but you still haven't finished exploring this floor! Yeah, there it is. Wow, zany! It's right there. That's mm -hmm. the moon door, because you can tell by, uh, the- The crescent moon. By the Iori, uh, Iori symbol. Yeah. Iori's yeah. so cool. Is Iori the best King of Fighters character? Yes. Maybe. Uh, yeah, we cracked yes, open. Yeah. No, that's actually that, yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah. That's a much better that's answer. That's actually exactly Me, what it is. Because I like I mean it. I somehow forgot about all the other amazing Fatal Fury. Uh, yeah. Uh, King of, yeah, Fatal Fury characters. So we cracked that. So we got the yeah, yeah, stone. Yeah. So I guess is there is there even another door in here? I don't think no, so. No, no. This is all. That's all it is. All right. You got to keep exploring and shooting your guns. I don't with need to provisional supplies. No conditional. Conditional. You want to talk about that? Well, I, I would like to talk about that. Where are you going, motherfucker? I'm, I'm, I'm not going that way. Yeah. Oh. So conditional supplies is uh, me and Matt were perusing the guide earlier for for tidbits. I would call them. You want to explore that other place in Canada? I, mean, I don't know. You if mean there's, right like the left side. I think it's probably all blocked off. Yeah. You, yeah okay. You're probably right. Um, I want to go there. Uh, yeah, that's where you want to go. Um, Called conditional Jesus. supplies. We were we were perusing the the, the old ass written strategy guide for yeah. like hints and shit, and what we discovered secret moves is that there's a pretty detailed discussion of something oh, called I, I killed the one enemy I killed is the in here. the there conditional is. supply system of this game, which I'm gonna guess is also present in Silent Hill one and two. You think um, at least two? It, and yeah, I don't think the PlayStation to the PlayStation one calculate oh. shit like that. No. Yeah. But it did. But it uh, did. But okay. the basic deal is that uh, the game will at uh, when you when you zone into new areas. So like we're in the shopping center, yeah. And the next stage is different. And when Matt pre passes a certain threshold, what'll happen is uh, it'll check your ammo supplies and whatnot and check those numbers. And if they're above a certain a number, it will not spawn supplies in certain areas. Because you because you're you're full. You're, like, you're it's topped like, off. You're it's doing like, good. But if you're below a certain number, it will uh, drop them. And the example that the uh, guide puts forth is that going into a happy burger oh, at some look, point. Oh, did my stupid thing. With 49 bullets of handgun ammo will spawn two extra handgun But if you bullets. have over 50 bullets, then that, that new area won't spawn And it comes along with a ammo. fucking weirdo chart of where to shoot your bullets at nothing in order to get... And this, this goes for health drinks and shit as well. Yeah. Like, that's crazy to me. So that 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 down there is blocked off. Oh that yeah, so you right want there. you want to go to the right and then oh, okay, go, you I did explore that and it was sealed off. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so right. I go up there, and then go through here, and then I go up one more floor to the yeah for the crazy moonspeak room. I I was laughing the other night about the cutscene with the detergent. I know. I was. I know because you, you were laughing like dude afterwards because she runs away. You were ha well. You have to. You will die. No, I know, but. She didn't know she was gonna die, though. She yeah, just do. did it, and then she's like, this is gross, then she No, left. Matt. No, the, she, her. Yeah, she knew, in game logic, that putting ammonia and bleach together is deadly. No, God told her, God okay. being us, told her, put these chemicals in it, and she's so like, you're going, okay! You're going with that bizarre, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, fucking divine inspiration theory of oh. design. That dick attacked you. It, it kind of nudged on me a little I bit. I should mention that it's not... Purely a dick with legs, it also shares similarities to what a tadpole looks like. Yeah, I can see that, but a dick tadpole. Yeah. You know? So Silent Hill 2 had themes of disgust, sadness, lust, etc., right? Yes. This is this Guilt. game's this game's primary theme is pregnancy. Because yeah, Heather is fine. She didn't do anything really bad. So why yeah. is she like freaking out over Be this? Because she is terrible. Oh, You're gonna have to take that out. You're gonna have to take it out. Why, why is she walking like that? Because you're hitting R1 and L1 oh, instead a, of R2. It's been a while since I've ever had to shoot him. Yeah. Quick, run by that dick, but smash it. Smash the guy's it smashing my boot. People will pay for that, you know. It's, it's a thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I paid for it. What? 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 What were you saying about Silent Hill 3? Wasn't your anniversary recently? Pregnancy, you were saying. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, no, this this game's uh, uh, theme is pregnancy, sex, fear of pregnancy, fear of sex, etc. Well, yeah, because it's icky. Ew! Oh, I, I distinctly that. remember at a certain point in my life when I was like six or seven, but so I knew what but up. I knew what boning was, 
And I was like, that's gross. That seems that gross. super gross. Yeah. No, I mean, who didn't think that at least once? Like, I know some badasses like Wooly would be like, nah, man, all the time. I was like, yeah, awesome. No. I like that you're you you are starting to get into the compulsive habit that I, you've seen me do I, and everything. But because it's that's like, I've noticed now, <laughs> we didn't have to do it that much in downpour or whatever. Because there's no doors, this. motherfucker. And it's so dark in this. <laughs> So you got to do it. That's yeah. how you play this now. I've just realized. You now that I'm playing a good you, silent game. Yeah, you desperately need to. Do, we have like, to do it sometimes. Yeah, but downpour, it's like you know, you have this wide open city with nothing in it. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. Uh, so yeah, there should be. Yeah, it should be straight up the stairs. Up now there were a lot of monsters there, but I bet what you can do is hit the door, then immediately go in your inventory real fast, and use the thing, and then go through. Yeah. So, wait, hold on. If I take a supply, like, that was bullets, so if I put it on a... Health on item. this, then, yeah, doing that will just heal me whenever. I bet. How many do I have? But that's actually a really bad idea, because... If you accidentally press because it. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you accidentally press it, but also, like, you can't tell what your health is from this screen. No. What do you feel about that? Like, I if, feel that Resident Evil... Uh, I think Resident Evil's fine. Resident Evil 2. It. Like, oh, fuck. All right. solve that problem perfectly. By by having your character straight straightforward straightforward oh god by having your character have three run states completely fine kind of injured and seriously the fuck effed up and then you ne you never had to guess sorry? like what your health was unless yeah, it was yeah, yellow yeah. caution because that's uh, sorry orange caution because that's stupid Namash yeah you did it you did it I man. hate that yeah. Like, no, no. I Akira Yamaoka's best work is in one, two, and three, in my opinion. I'd say, I'd, I'd say, like two. And, and three, I'm, I'm, I'm a big, I'm a one. big fan of one's right. like, incredible. Like th they all have elements of it, but one's music is so freaky industrial. It's so grimy, and uh, okay. and and shitty sounding. Like I love it. I think you might have to go here. Careful. I know, but the controls kind of. Hey, check it out. Around. It's a ladder, not a step ladder. You can use this to get to the bottom. Q Snake Eater. Oh wait, what's down here? I mean, what's down here? Like, you know what's coming up? No. Okay. Uh, sh well, what's my health at? Been roughly a decade. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I could probably talk Two's out, about like, I, I, I did not put this through its paces the way I put Silent Hill 2 through its paces. I beat this, like, three or four times, but those were all back in 2003 is this, uh, this and 4. Is this a longer game? I'm not, I don't know. I'd say it's Snake about the same. Snake Eater. Some days you feed on a tree frog. Da -da 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 -da. See, it saves you from that. This is an ominous fucking ladder, though. Yeah. Where are we going? Into the dark hole. The parking garage. That's safe in there. No demons. There's something about these loading screens that make me feel of, like, the weird loading screens and transitions in Killer7. They're just weird textures mm -hmm. and, like, crap. Are we due for a boss? I we still haven't fought a boss, so I Well, hey, man, I don't know what this boss is. I don't, I don't know. It's been a decade. It's been a long time. You're definitely not gonna fight like a giant dick or anything. Oh wait, you told me that at some point we'd be fighting a giant dick, so I assume. You know what I love about the giant dick monster? Yeah, what's that? Its symbolism is obvious. I was gonna say it's <laughs> pretty subtle. There is <gasps> like I remember being like twelve or however old I was and being like, that's a dick. That's a penis. Yeah, just like that that black just guy like that in the black US guy Senate. That did that once the did one the time. gif. Nani? What? Oh! <laughs> oh fuck! My controller is rumbling like a fucking tumbler. It's big dick. That's, Look, it's like it's an evil monster dick. I'm circumcised. Oh man! It's me. All natural. You love it. Oh, right. Wow! Great camera angle, jackass. So your so your options are to shoot it. That's your options. They can take damage. I don't know. I can't see it. I see. I, I kind of saw it. Oh, bye. So is it? I'm just fighting this giant wormo. That's correct. You're fighting this oh, giant wormo. Careful. Oh. 
You gotta shoot it. I'm, I'm sure. I'm just making sure to. It's a DPS race. Yeah, you're hurting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot it. Shoot it in its weird penis mouth. I kind of feel like when its mouth comes out, like that's when to shoot it. So the symbol symbolism here is obviously fear of giant scary penises. But what? But there's also a second batch of symbolism. Yeah, he's just gonna do that. That's his primary attack. So you just want to nail him. The second one is the fact the way that he keeps coming in and out of the of the holes is I is either a symbol is either symbolic yeah. to sex or childbirth. Or <laughs> All right, giving birth to like a horrible, horrible freakazoid. Careful, quick, shoot it. I'm, I'm yeah, he does that every time. There you go. Are you serious? Yeah, dude. Okay, sure. I guess first boss. What do I expect? Second boss is considerably harder. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember wow. having a really tough time with them, okay. but I was eleven. <laughs> so who the fuck knows? Yeah. Who the fuck knows? That's an aggressive white screen. It's got to be loading some fucking shit. It sure is. It sure is. And it sure is sticking around. Okay, thank God. Every time that happens now, we get a little freaked out. Ah, that's why. Because the environment changed. What? That's bullshit, spat Heather. It's a shopping mall just like before. Am I back? All right. Well, you can pop your ammos and fix yourself up if you got hit. I I, I wonder if. Oh, I took no damage. You took slightly. But it's blue. I yeah, thought I that guess. was. Well, I does get, those earthquaking things? I thought they did, but maybe, maybe not. I guess not. So you're now in the totally normal, super friendly it, place. Okay. So. All right. Remember we were talking about this where I was like, but isn't Silent Hill like this terrible place where it's like either a ghost town and you're like, no, nah, man, people have jobs and shit and they just do stuff. Yeah. So that still doesn't make much sense to me. But if we're in this mall and this mall is not in Silent Hill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is the state of no one's around, but we're not in the upside down? What this is it? Does the state have a name? It's not normal. There, there are three. There are three types of yeah. reality that are usually presented in Silent Hill. Sure, one one of, of which name, is though. the straight up real world, right? You are in the real Where world. Where they have Twitter and things. Yeah, you are in the real world okay. right now. You just happened to stay late after the mall closed. Okay. That's, that's why there's no one around. It's kind of stupid, but sure. Right? Um, the second one is the fog world. Which is somewhat like purgatory. Yeah, that I get. It's this weird pseudo place that's before you get kicked into your own personal nightmare. I think it's like because it mixes me up because I like having watched the first movie a couple of times. I always uh, well, that you get that a little confused with the the actual <laughs> game. That's the problem because it's it's not quite the same. I I, I just mean like I get confused where. Um, where Sean pre, Bean is at the where, end. Where, yeah, where Sean, like, because that, that scene where he's in the, like, kind of purgatory world, or what, not purgatory world. Regular where, world. Where it's regular world, but no one's there, and she's in the exact same location at the exact same time. They just yeah. can't find each other. I thought that was illustrated See, that's, that's it so consistent. Well. Yeah. That is consistent. Like, when Harry and, and Sybil in Silent Hill 1 get stuck in the oh, fog man. world, like, they bad. are there. And it's very unclear whether or not people that are walking around Silent Hill can see them and if they're just acting really bizarrely. Right, right. But to their perspective, they're set. And then there's the other world, which is like kind of a contention of Silent Hill fans as to whether or not that's a completely different reality or if that's perception or whatever. Yeah. But the point is, other pe some people end up in a freak-ass, super horrible super place. World. Um... And it, it appears that when you're there, you are also not in the real world. Like, you, you're you you're gone. And, like, Silent Hill Origins kind of delves into that, where Travis is only in one location. Hey, Happy Burger. Hey. Um, nice. Go to that Happy Burger. And I love, I love, ooh, save point. Um, Delicious, happy save point burger. I love having really positive, like, yeah, places in Silent Hill games. Absolutely. That's why I think Robbie the Rabbit is fun. Robbie the Rabbit's great. Okay, I have to ask. You like, want to save the game for sure. Yeah, for sure. Does, but does, does that, does Robbie have any other, like, does he, 
appear in he any shows other way? up once okay that's he that's shows up in silent hill 4 as a doll as a doll in we Eileen's saw that room. we saw yeah, that yeah that's yeah. his only I mean, not in this game like he was at the start and that's it and other than that he's just a doll well I mean, if you go room? if you go back to that amusement park you may see him okay fair enough um, because the game, when, when Silent Hill 3 is getting advertised Yeah, lot, he was the mascot. I th yeah, he was the mascot. I thought he was like, oh, there's the final boss. Yeah, no. Because yeah. he's fucking weird. He's a... He's a Weirdo. And, like, I don't know if you clicked on him back when we were in the nightmare, but... Yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah, it was like... It's like, is somebody, is is somebody in there? And, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it's really unclear. It's like... Hey, yeah. so how many bullets do I have? Right now? Yeah, let's check. I don't know. It's fucking... You have plenty, I guess. It's fucking whatever. You got eight. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's ah, amazing. Conditional supply. I'm we're getting no ammo in the next stage. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the fuck was I gonna say? I was saying something. Shit, forgot. Fuck. Robbie, Robbie the rabbit. Nah, it was before. That. Robbie the rodent. Nah, it was before that. Before Robbie the rodent. Oh right, it was about the other world. The penis means uh, sex time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the penis is a symbolism for sex. It's you. It's you. What just happened? You must be one of them. <laughs> what did I do? And what do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? Look. I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why don't you start by telling me what happened here? And that monster. What the hell was that? I don't know any more than you do. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here and... I got a weird feeling it's got something to do with me. Maybe you're just an innocent bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. You know, if you hadn't found me... What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? But I know there's something. been running from and forgot for a long time. How did I remember that? What's wrong? Nothing. Where are you going? I'm taking the subway home. What should I do? How if I know? So I actually forgot that conversation. And that it's really... has to be the most pointless conversation ever. Actually, there is one thing, one piece of information what? in there. And it has to do a lot with what we're talking about in terms of like the other world. And that is... He saw it. Stuff. It was the location it. changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Not... didn't go somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah The yeah, place yeah. they were changed. What was all that? But like and he even saw monsters. He, 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 she came out. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I Neither don't know do what I. you're doing. I'm going home. What should I do? You do it. Yeah, that's great. So I, um, when when videos for Silent Hill HD came out, they showed like the voice acting stuff. I think Douglas is played by Liam O'Brien, mm -hmm. right? Um, and I looked it up, and I read that the original voice actor for Douglas died before the game even came out. The oh, jeez, that's a bummer. Original Silent Hill 3, yeah. And um, it's it's kind of weird because the first time... Well, like, like I said, I played this before, but I don't remember any real cutscenes with Douglas. I didn't remember how he sounded or whatever. Mm -hmm. And plus... I know Douglas better by the visual of the animated GIF over yeah. and over again. So, um, like his voice acting feels like a little like Silent Hill Two voice acting. Yeah, like hers weird. is great. Yeah, he, but he's like a weird old man. He's like a weirdo. It's a weird old guy. So I don't got a map, huh? No, nah, you don't have a map. It's dark in here. You want to turn back and explore the other pathway, see if you can find a map. Yeah, I kind of feel like. 
that's that's that, that's this is the place I might need a map for. Yeah, this There's might many doors. This might be the next area. Oh, you mean the subway station in general? Yeah, subway. Yeah, yeah, like so uh, the the cool thing about this is that this was the start of the concept Rouge. of the concept of Silent Hill reaching out to places that aren't Silent Hill. Look, Minmo. Cat. Minmo the cat. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> Look, there's two different cats. On the can, there's like a fluffy Zack cat, and the front, there's just like cat looks like it's about to get run over by headlights. That's fine. That's weird. And it's in fucking, it's in fucking uh, sands. Yeah. Cat foods. Weird. Growing strong and healthy, Minmo. <laughs> Minmo is hard to say. Minmo. Minmo. I'm not having trouble. Sorry. Hey, you know what was all? You, so you just did something that you probably didn't even realize. That was like the reason why Resident Evil was criticized so oh, strongly cool. for not being able to walk and shoot, because in Silent Hill, you can just walk and shoot. I can. You're right. You can even walk Weird. while shooting. Why did I not think of that before? Because it's so obvious. <laughs> it's so natural. Yeah, yeah. I can. I can strafe. Uh, it's hard to do because the controller, but yeah. I can do that and then shoot. I don't want to pop. Well, whatever. I've got 80. But. Oh, 89 even. <laughs> Look at that. She's a combat specialist. No, she's not. She's explicitly not a combat specialist. But, like, she's better than Chris. Yeah, she's better than Chris. Chris can't even do that. Well, because he has the training to know to plant his feet before shooting. Lock is broken. All right. I guess there was nothing here. I bet we turned around right before we got the map. Uh, That's what I, I There's bet. just two hallways. There's no other door. Oh, no. Don't worry. I think we gotta go where we just were. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I bet we, like, turned around and stopped so right before we I, found I just out. realized the reason why we might not have taken any damage from the worm when he did the ground shake is because... Oh, the bulletproof vest! Yeah, it's possible. I was just realizing, like, I'm a bit slower, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I guess that's why. Big vests. Big vest for big boys. Big girls. Big girl... Big girl vest. Octopus. This is my big girl vest. I pee this in is it. the one I use for when I do big girl things. Like shit my pants. Like shit my pants. Only the strongest big girls have the bravery. <laughs> to shit the uh, so it's, you got to be really brave. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. There, the there's, there's subway map. Thank you. Well, oh no, that's the subway. Oh. I just need to get a Bergen Street train at Platform 3. Okay, okay well, well, thanks for telling me that, actually. This does look like the place that you would find a map. Well, map. Ooh, what's that? Is this anything? It looks she like looked at it, see? Looks like a shit newspaper. Ah. What is it? Ah, it's a new it is a newspaper. There's a newspaper left on top of the ticket machine. Fatal accident at Hazel. The guy was drunk! About 11 p.m. on the 4th, a man waiting for the platform at the Hazel Street Station fell onto the tracks and was decapitated by the arriving St. Renata College-bound train. The victim died instantly. Rough. When police have not yet determined whether the death was an accident or suicide, witnesses report that the victim did not look inebriated. And Aw, oh, that's disappointing. And seemed to jump off the platform deliberately. The victim's identity is still unknown because he has no head. He was approximately 40 years old, 5 feet 10 inches tall, and was wearing a black jacket. This newspaper is four months old. What is it doing here? That's weird. I actually <laughs> don't remember what that. Oh my god. Maybe now I can she, decapitate. Heather's my drunk. Son. Oh no, Heather. <laughs> Heather. I don't know why I did that accent. I don't know why you did either, That's but I fine. like it. That's fine. Okay. Well, can we buy a ticket? No. I feel like something really scary could happen in this thing. You do? Like in that little ticket booth? Lots of scary things have happened at the ticket booth in uh, Montreal. Ooh, is this it? That might be it. That looks like it. I was just pulling open the guide to find it, because the map is really the only item you absolutely Ooh, you need, fucking you need. need. Yeah. I got subway map. Subway map. I'm happy for subway map. Thank you, subway. Wow, you can't even get in there, huh? No. Because it's a fully modeled room and shit. Yeah. Weird. All right. But it's only a fully modeled room from the outside. So, platform... Three, three on Bergen, Bergen Street. Street. Hazel Street, Hazel Street, Hazel Street. They're all to Hazel Street. To Central Square. Oh, Bergen Street is the, is the stop you get off at. Oh, like to get home? Yeah. Okay. But I have to go... Like, well, there, there's Bergen Street there. Yeah, check it out, Street. check it out. Ah, good. Yeah. Uh, Bergen so Street 3, not, and that's to your right or left. They're both fine. Okay. Subways. It's like a very Japanese subway. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 
And it's supposed to be what a North North America, not but Northwest. A North America subway. No, Virginia. So it's Northeast. Well, no, because this Silent is Hill's around this Virginia, is actually right? pretty fucking Ooh, far from Silent Hill. Okay, what town is it? Does that ever actually say North America? Because <laughs> because Silent Hill. Don't forget 4, that same point. I know. I know. I just want to look around. Uh, Silent Hill Four is um. Ashfield, Ashfield Heights. Yeah, so, yeah I don't want to go down there. Yet. No, it's. I thought it was just Ashfield. It's Ashfield. Yeah, a you're little on the nose with the name of Ashfield, though. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm using the thing more. Yeah, yeah, it feels better, don't it? Takes it, a bit, though. It it feels better when it's orientated, but when I'm pressing it, it's awful. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean. You'll get used to it. I guess so. Back in the day, we didn't need good controls Back in our in horror my games. Day. Fucking good control. Get the fuck, fuck out of here. here. You're good to. Oh no! I can't <laughs> control it because the tanks and shit. Eco action. Fuck off, Jimmy. Boom. What's down here? Maybe now you can control it with your dick, but back in my day, we needed our thumbs. Great. Yeah, well, a lot of things are not great. Weird combos. Nemo. Weird conversations with Grandpa. Minimo. Oh. Where's Minmo the cat? All right, let's. 